Hi, I'm Judy Duplessis, and this is In The Moment. A quick look inside all the current happenings and services here in Plaquemines Parish and why it's important to you, the resident. Every year across the country, libraries host summer reading programs tailored to their community needs. Programs are usually meant to engage young readers while school is out of session to continue learning, but to continue reading. On this segment of In the Moment, we look inside this year's parish-wide summer reading program to learn more about how this year different than last and what the future looks like for Plaquemines Parish Libraries. Let's get ready to learn more about Tales on Tales. very proud to have local performers and that was a really big thing is getting our performers back working uh, the local arts community around New Orleans around the Louisiana area um, they depend on us we had um, Melinda Falgu who has written a number of books and she's from uh, Metairie the Metairie area um, she's wrote Footprints, The Gubbins Club, Her Royal Majesty, The Superhero, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, Ten Little Crawfish, and she's even wrote a wordless picture book that people are using um, for children that are having trouble with communication. So uh, we were very proud to have her. She's a lot of fun. And she did a, a mystery solving. Um, she went into uh, how to solve a mystery, how to do fingerprints and such as that. We also had um, our dancers. Um, we have the Kabuki dancers that come from Lafayette, the Lafayette area. And they've been with us probably over 10 years. And these guys have the best message. They are such a positive act. Um, they are anti-bullying. They are very uh, inclusive in everything that they bring. So um, they get the kids up, they get them dancing, and they teach them a little bit of history too. So we enjoy them. Um, we also had another local author, uh, Alexander McConduit and he wrote Snowballs for All. And uh, he is a young black author that is from the East Bank that we really have never had before, and I wanna have him back because he has wrote several books. Um, Mad Science is another favorite. We're having them today. Um, they are just so much fun, but they also teach a lesson. So we've had a full summer, I mean a very full summer. So um, I, I really think next year we're gonna be on a roll completely and it, everything will be, you know, like it was. We are very excited because we have several different things that COVID did, um, the COVID grants that came in, we reached out. The State Library has been wonderful in facilitating a lot of these grants and a lot of these opportunities to us. One of the latest ones we got was the ARPA grant and that was over $47,000. Um, we chose early literacy. We know that that is an issue amongst the whole parish. Um, getting our little ones in, getting them to be able to um, handle a digital device. Uh, a lot of the software that's on these that we will be obtaining, will um, they'll be able to learn coding. Um, it's also in two different languages. It's in English as well as Spanish. Um, and it just really reaches the little ones in a fun way, but it also teaches them and, and teaches them to read. 
this kind of falls into another opportunity we have, and it's called the Emergency Connectivity Fund. And we're hoping to be able to bring hotspots throughout our parish, and I, I really haven't worked out how exactly we're gonna do this, but I'm excited that we will be able to obtain, at no cost to us, for an entire year, hotspots to where our underserved communities would be able to have internet access. As well as across the river, we have at the Percy Griffin Center, we're having programs there. And that's one of our places that I wanted to do the hotspots. So we have so many resources at our library. Um, our staff really goes above and beyond. I feel like because we're a small system, we may not have all the bells and whistles that a lot of libraries do, but our staff is our golden treasure because they you can come in and they will help you do anything. We have faxing, we have copy, uh, uh, services available. We have uh, scanning at all of our libraries from Burris, uh, Burris libraries. All of our parish libraries are open from nine to four until school starts. And then we're gonna uh, address what hours we will go into. I just would urge people, use your library. I mean, it is the community's library, you know, and it's here. And if, if you know, if you haven't been in the library in a long time, come see what we have. We have movies, we have books, we have audio books. We have just a whole slew of things that's available to the public. And it really is a pleasant place to come and bring your family.